Welcome back. We're joined now by Beth Brown. She's the director of the Edom Art Festival. Thank you so much for swinging by here today. Thank you for having me. Bringing so many beautiful pieces. We'll yes. get to those in a minute. But tell me about your art festival and the longstanding history with it. Well, it is longstanding. This is our 47th annual. It was started, uh, first of all, my, my husband, Doug Brown of Potter's Brown, which is our business in Edom, uh, moved to Edom in 1971, started the art community there, uh, started the festival in 72, and it's been going ever since. Yeah, so why should people be sure to put this on their calendars? Well, it's one of the premier art events in the state of Texas, for sure. It's one of the most long-standing art events in the state of Texas. Um, it is one of the only artists uh, produced events in the state of Texas as artists in our community. I don't know who in your in your viewing audience has ever been to Eden before, but we are an, an art community. We have our town of 350 people. We have eight art galleries in town. Oh, wow. Uh, some of our art galleries, like ours, Potter's Brown, this is an example of our work. Um, we only carry exclusively our work. There are a few other galleries in town which carry um, um, a variety of artists work as a lot of galleries do we will have 65 artists at the art festival this year um, I brought just a small example yeah. of a few things that we're going to be having. Uh, this is a piece by Debbie Elmer, who is a glass artist. This is fused glass. Uh, Debbie has pieces that you can actually use. You can actually serve food on this if you want to. And she's got decorative pieces. Uh, this is another piece of glass by so pretty. Lee. Isn't it gorgeous? And it's different on the outside and the inside. This is blown glass. This is by Cecil and Lisa McKenzie, and they are from Emporia, Kansas. So we do have artists from as far away as Kansas and Michigan. Yeah, so what's your selection process for these artists? Well, it's interesting. We have a jury committee of six people. It is composed of art collectors and experienced artists. Uh, this year we had over 125 applicants where we chose 65. Wow. Uh, artists submit um, several images of their work, and we jury and decide who we're going to invite. We have a criteria for jurying, uh, both we, we pay attention to saleability, we pay attention to price ranges. We want everyone to be able to afford art to go in their home and offices, um, and also a variety of work. Uh, this year we are going to have photography, painting, painting as in watercolor, pen, acrylics, mixed media, fiber, jewelry, glass, blown glass, fused glass, wood, sculpture, we have a cement sculpture, uh, metal, metal sculpture, pottery. We also have an area in our wine, wine garden area where we have two local wineries that will be set up. We will have artisan goat cheese, homemade chocolates, handmade artisan chocolate, We'll have a variety of food as well, food trucks and interesting food vendors. We'll have a kids area so people can bring their kids. A kids creation station where they will actually be making something hands on. And we're also going to have an art exhibit this year from some high school students from the Van Art School who were juried into the show. And they will have a special exhibit of their own as emerging and budding artists. It sounds like so, so much fun. We're running out of time, but I just want to one more time the dates and where this is located. This weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 5. Um, in downtown Edom, you can't miss it. The entrance will be right in Edom. Admission is free. Uh, there will be a small charge for parking as some of our churches make their money from parking. And we'll all be set up. Free demonstrations too. Demonstrations by Blacksmith and also nationally uh, known Randy Broadnax, who is a Raku potter who will be doing trash can firing. What raccoons. don't you have? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fabulous. Beth, thank you so much for stopping by to tell thank us about this. Thank you for having me. Our pleasure.